Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here, and today, today is the day. Blizzard Hearthstone China servers have shut down. There's no more Hearthstone in China, and the same goes with almost all Blizzard games. World of Warcraft is out of China, Diablo is out of China, Starcraft is out of China. The only thing that remains in China basically is Diablo Immortal, which was developed by Blizzard in cooperation with NetEase, and they have a different, different partnership contract about that one, but all other Blizzard games no longer available in China. So how did this happen? Well, the main reason is the way Chinese market operates, because in Chinese market you cannot just come in as a foreign company and start offering your products. You actually have to partner with a local company. Yeah, that's that's Chinese economy for you. And Blizzard has had partnership with NetEase for many years, but now they were unable to renew the contract. Now, why was that? This was first hinted at in the Blizzard Quarter 3 financial report, where they said that they have difficulties negotiating the contract. And then there have been some wild claims. NetEase has been saying that Blizzard demanded so much money and they wanted to make their books look good for the Microsoft acquisition. And Blizzard has said that they are looking for partners that would share their values. Right near the end, Blizzard also requested Nedis for a six-month extension uh, with the same partnership contract that they had until today, but Nedis refused that. So there's just a lot of back and forth. Nedis is obviously very upset. Blizzard is obviously very upset. We don't just know the real truth about why the negotiations broke down. But the core reason is that China requires foreign companies to operate through a partner, they cannot operate independently in China, and Blizzard was unable to just get a partner contract done. Also, Nedis really didn't take this well. Nedis had a orc axe statue at their office, and they live streamed how they demolished that statue, and they were also distributing Blizzard green tea at the event, which, according to various sources, is green tea is supposed to be some kind of a slur in Chinese modern parlance. So they were they were just saying that Blizzard is dishonest and Blizzard is bad and bye bye axe. So yeah, that was quite an emotional breakdown from a major company. You don't see that very often, but it does happen. I mean, we are all human beings here and even though people like to think that hey, major corporations they're led very rationally, very like based on calculations, but the reality is that there are still a lot of decisions being made in the world that are based on feelings and not rationality. And so, yeah, they were obviously very, very upset. In other news, another major Chinese company, Tencent, just published more videos of their upcoming massively multiplayer online game for the Chinese market, which looks exactly like World of Warcraft. It's in closed beta testing at the moment, coming to the market soon, and yeah, curious timing, maybe. Tencent was one of the options that Blizzard would have had for a potential partner in the Chinese market, but obviously Tencent is not going to be very interested, given that they're working on their own MMO. There's no new card game like Hearthstone announced so far. Curious, I mean, we, we should get a Hearthstone clone. It'd be interesting to see. Okay, it actually wouldn't be that interesting to see. Although China did have a lot of good stuff in Hearthstone, because China had like tournament mode, China had deck tracker, China had replace. There was like all the features that people actually want for Hearthstone, and Blizzard is not implementing Netties, made them themselves. So that's another curious twist. Obviously, World of Warcraft much bigger than Hearthstone. World of Warcraft was really at the at the core of this controversy and at the core of all the news and speculation. But once again, our Hearthstone is the innocent victim. Like when Overwatch League went to YouTube and Hearthstone was sent us alongside and now big controversy over WoW and Hearthstone servers also shut down. Yeah, that was quite a mess. And I'm not sure if Hearthstone is ever going to return to China. And if it is, then when? because Blizzard would have to get a new partner and then they would have to get new approvals. And some people are saying that it could take years even. At the very least, it would take months. So we'll see. But yeah, Hearthstone, 
officially no longer available in China as of today. Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members, and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.